The shuff command, or the shuffle command, is used to generate random permutations. Now that's a fancy way of saying we're going to randomize some stuff. We're going to randomize lines of text, or randomize a sequence of numbers. So if I switch over to the terminal, the basic usage of shuff, if you shuff a file, for example, if I shuff my bash RC, what it does is it randomizes the order of the lines, right? It shuffles the lines around in the file. A lot of times with the shuff command, you want a specific number of lines of output. So if I do a shuff on my bash RC and give it the dash in flag for number of entries, and let's say 10. So this will give me 10 lines from the bash RC after it's shuffled up. And now I get basically 10 random lines from my bash RC. Now by default, shuff just prints to standard output, but if you want to save the output to a file, there is a flag you can use. If I up arrow to rerun the last command, shuff dash n 10 for 10 lines uh, shuffled from my bash RC, what I can do is I can give it the dash O flag for output and give it a file name. How about test? If I run that, it just ran this command here again. Well, it's, it'll be a different random order of 10 lines from my bash RC, but it wrote it output to a file called test. If I do an ls, I have test now in my home directory. If I cat out the test file, there are the 10 shuffled lines from my bash RC that got written to this test file. Much of the time when you use the shuff command, you're actually working with numbers. Sometimes you just want to generate a random order of numbers. So you can use shuff dash I for input range and then give it a range of numbers. For example, one through 10. And now I get one through 10, except of course, shuffled. Something very useful that I've used in the past is use this command here, shuff dash I one through 100, because typically when we're dealing with percentages, right, we're dealing with one through 100, and then dash N for number of lines for the output, and I'm gonna limit it to one. And I'm gonna get a random number, one through 100, in this case, 41. For example, if you're a poker player and you're trying to randomize certain actions in your game you know sometimes you do that based on a percentage and by having a random number generator from 1 through 100 you know depending on the number that comes up that will be the determining factor on what my next decision is and of course you can also use this in scripting and programming as well if you want to continually repeat a shuffle and have it print to standard output you could do something like shuff dash I 1 through 10 and then give it the dash R flag for repeat and it just continually does a random sorting of one through 10 over and over again, printing to standard output. If I hit control C on the keyboard, it will kill the shuff. One final flag I wanna show you with shuff is dash Z. What this does is it uses a line delimiter of null rather than a new line. Uh, I can show you this in action. If I shuff zero through nine, so those 10 characters, zero through nine, we're gonna shuffle them. And by doing dash Z, instead of having a new line separate them, they're all going to be jumbled up into one big number. Now, if you want to learn more about the shuff command, type man shuff in the terminal to read the man page.